Hey guys, <clears throat> thank you for watching my video. I know it's been like forever since I haven't posted one. Um, a lot of things just have been going on. Like I moved out and I just moved into a new place and everything's great, life is great. Just been having a lot going on, just started a new job, like the best job ever. Um, but I'm gonna try to like start filming more often. Um, today I just kinda wanted to try something new. I've never really done colors like this. Um, just ordered like these Morphe palettes because I've been wanting to order them forever. And everyone's like, oh, the shipping takes like so long. But I was like, you know what, whatever. So I just ordered one and I love them. They're, it didn't even take long, like maybe a week, but that's it. I'm over here thinking like it was gonna take months. But I'm guessing that's just if it's not in stock or something. But, um they're amazing like they're so pigmented and i love 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 them um so yeah so i just kind of did like uh it's like a gold i try to put some violet into it um don't i mean it, it looks nice but the violet didn't come out as as dramatic as i thought it was gonna come out um maybe i needed to put something under it and then the shimmer i don't know but this is literally the first time i've ever tried this look um but i like it though i like it something different um a little out of my comfort zone but i definitely really like it and probably will be doing this again so again i apologize for not like being so consistent with my videos but i'm definitely gonna try this time for real um and yeah so if you want to learn how i got this look just keep watching bye all right, hey guys. So this is a 35F Morphe palette. Um, I was trying to show you guys, but it didn't really work. Um, I wish they had like the eyeshadows. I wish they had names on it, but it doesn't. So the first eyeshadow I used, um, it was just I don't know. It's like a gold color. Um, again, this is a 35F Morphe palette. Um, and it's just the gold color that I used and to apply the shadow um, I used the brush E14 by Morphe um, I was trying to show you guys but obviously it wasn't working again and just right off the bat let me tell you guys these eyeshadows are so pigmented it's ridiculous like it's so good um, and then using the same palette um this whole eyeshadow look is just off the 35f morphe palette um anyway so i went in with it it's like a violet color a deep like a plum kind of color um and for that i first was using an elf um an elf brush but it doesn't have like numbers or anything it's just like a regular flat eyeshadow brush and then I changed eventually changed to one of my old brushes again those don't have names um I think I got them off eBay or something so I don't I don't even know they don't even have a name but they're really good though they've lasted me a while um and it worked way better than the elf one as you can see it put more color onto the shadow but um I know it looks like a hot mess right now but we're gonna blend it in to get like so yeah don't freak out um and you'll see later that I'm constantly going back in with the gold color. Um, that's just because I wanted that gold to really pop out. Um, like I said earlier, I've never tried a look like this or any colors like this. I just really want to try it and I just really wanted that gold to pop out. Um, and then I just used the Morphe E15 shadow. What the heck? The E15 brush, um, I used it just kind of to blend the violet with the gold so it doesn't look so, like, strong out there. Um, and then I'm going in with the black, um, just, and I'm using my old brush again. Um, it's kind of like an angled blending brush, um, and I just used it on the very outer corners of my eye, um, just to bring it out and I noticed that this kind of made the violet kind of go away so that was one thing I didn't like but you'll see later that I go back and um with the violet I don't think I show you guys but I'll let you know whenever I do so yeah pretty much I'm just blending that in and every time what I like to do for black I just always 
do the tip of the brush. I always use my angled brush and I always use the tip. And then like I said earlier, I'm going back in with the gold just because I really want that to pop out. And here, I didn't show you guys, but I'm going back in with the violet just to blend it with the black and the gold. So it's not just like black gold, you know what I mean? So that's what I did. And then just sharpened it around my um, crease with the violet as well. And yeah, again, going back with the gold. Like, you will see me doing it a lot. Actually, I think that's the last time, so never mind. Never mind. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in. Alright, and for eyeliner, this is the eyeliner I'm always talking about. So, this is just a picture just to show you guys. Because the one that I'm using here, I've used for a while. Um, So, like, the little letters on it, like, the words kind of smeared off. So, I had to buy, like, five of them or not really. I just bought two more. But, um, yeah, this is the eyeliner. It's the NYC eyeliner. I don't know how many more times I need to tell you guys in my videos. This is the eyeliner, like the eyeliner it is so good i just can't even um i also i know i would i told you guys i would tell you if i found another eyeliner so working at a um beauty store i have discovered a lot of new products that i didn't really think i was gonna like or i was just not willing to try because i was just so stuck on my nyc eyeliner um but this new um well, it's not really new. I just kind of saw it. Um, it's the Lights, Camera, Lashes by Tarte Eyeliner. It's the exact same, like, line as my mascara that I'm going to be using for this video. It's just the eyeliner. Um, I love it. Like, it was really good. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's completely a dupe as this. Well, it's not really a dupe because it's more expensive. But um, it's similar to this one, just the whole they're both liquid eyeliners except the other one it's like a pen pretty much it's not like the it's not gonna have this flexible little wand thing like how this eyeliner is um the other one it's just like a pen so it's like a velvet pen so it's a little different but it's it it turns mad it's just exactly the same pretty much that one um i think it was twenty dollars that i saw but yeah, I really like that one too. I haven't bought it because, like I said, I'm just so stuck on this. Like, I would rather pay like $3 for this eyeliner when it does the same thing as a $20 one, you know? But I absolutely love this. Um, only thing that I'm getting a little upset is that it's just getting harder to find. Um, because it has grown a lot, you know, in the cosmetic world, I guess. And usually where I would get it, they don't even sell it there anymore. So I was like, what? So I have to like drive around places to try to find it. And if they do have the brand, usually it's not even there. Like it's, they're sold out and it's just a horrible mess. But pretty much, yeah, I'm just going ahead and I'm um, doing my eyeliner. And if you guys want like some one-on-one -on -one eyeliner kind of tutorial thing, um, you can check my videos and I have just a tutorial on my eyeliner. Alright, so here I had already done my, ma um, not my mascara, my foundation. Um, I'm going in with my NYX, um, my NYX concealer. So I was really dumb because I bought this and like the lettering, the words and stuff, they come off so quick and easily. So I don't even know which shade I got. I literally just got it like when i had gotten off work because a customer had told me it was really good so i was like what the heck i got it and i love it i mean it's i mean i'm trying to get it again but i literally do not remember which shade i got so that sucks but um now i'm using the la pro concealer um it's to um contour my face and I'm just putting that, you know, where that contour is supposed to go. 
Um, I had gotten this, and the first time I got it, I didn't really like it. Well, the first time I used it, I didn't really like it because I felt like it was too dark for my skin tone. Um, and I think it still is. Um, but I guess I just need to know how much to put on my face because sometimes I go like over the top and get crazy about it. So this is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is my holy grail bronzer. I love it. I definitely recommend it for everyone. It literally fits to like everyone's skin tone. Um, I love it. I mean, it's beautiful. So yeah, I'm just going ahead and bronzing up my face. And I am using a Morphe brush. It's the E5 Morphe brush. We already said that, but that brush is so good for bronzing. So now I'm using the Benefit What's Up highlighter. Um, I like this too, but I just have like a bittersweet relationship with it because it is a good highlighter. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, I think I said bronzer. Whatever. Anyway, so it's a good highlighter. Um, just really creamy, and it's I don't know. I'm I'm still trying to get used to it, but um, the highlighter it's like the cream on one side, and then the other side has like a sponge kind of thing. Um, so it's supposed to be for you know blending in your highlighter, I guess. But I don't like it. I would honestly rather just use my fingers to blend it in um, because I feel like that sponge just kind of takes the product off. But hey, that's just me. And then, yeah, I'm just going back with the bronzer just to bronze up my face more and give it more definition. And Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend in my bronzer. And this is the Mario Badushku, um Facial Spray. I love this. If, you, if your skin is, like, dehydrated or anything, this is, like, I just love it. Like, if you're hot or something, you can easily just spray it on. It's not like a finishing spray. It's just like a hydrating spray, and I love it. Um, So here I'm going with the L'Oreal. It's um like the Infallible, I think. Um, Just kind of duo. Um, I like that highlighter better than anything because it's not so shiny, but not just like where you can't see anything. So that's really good for my skin. And then here... um. Like I was saying earlier, I'm using the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and this is like one of my favorite prestige mascara, mascara, pff, mascaras out there. Um, honestly, I like this better than the Better Than Sex Mascara, just because the Better Than Sex Mascara kind of clumps up my lashes a little, and this, um, this mascara just kind of makes my lashes evenly throughout my whole whatever through my whole lashes Pfft, whatever um so now I'm going in again with the 35f um morphe palette um and I'm just grabbing that gold and putting it um on my waterline um I like to do this sometimes I don't always put eyeshadow under like you know where my waterline's at um just because some days I just want to go like simple but this tends to give you more of a dramatic look to any color like just like for example if you're doing all black like a smoky eye if you put black under like where your waterline's at it is gonna smoke out your eye like it's gonna look ridiculous good um I learned this trick from Carly Bible because she is my favorite youtuber um and so yeah so that's like a really good trick that I've learned. Um, and then again, I went in with the Morphe E15 um, brush to just kind of blend it out. Now I'm using the Milani lipsticks in 10. It's called Adorable. Um, and yeah, you always want to dehydrate, or not dehydrate, you always want to hydrate your lips before you put on a matte because they are drying. Um, so it's always good to put on some chapstick. Um, so yeah, this is a really cute nude. Um, I absolutely love these lipsticks. Like, they are really amazing for their price, and they smell amazing. It literally smells like cupcakes. Um, but anyway, so they're like a little under $8, I think. Um, and they are, like I said, they're really, really good. They stay on all day. They don't crack. They're moisturizing. My, my lips have been dry for a while. That's why I put on chapstick. But, yeah. So, this is the finishing look. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Um, again, thank you so much for watching. And give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you comment um, for anything. So, thanks for watching. Bye.